good thumbnail? I don't know. Guess we'll see. I'm whipping something for him with expired tags. Signing on the dotted line, whatever's going to get the bag. The little man, short sighted, my decision's bad. Just because I'm the funny guy does not mean that I'm calling back. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. And uh, as you read in the title, I have a JDM barn find that I picked up today. We'll get into more what that means in a little bit, but I just want to show you the car. So here is my brand new to me Nissan 240SX S13. Right, guys so let me tell you a little bit why this car is special I was browsing Craigslist one night looking for old 240s pretty much as I always do and I stumbled across this it's not exactly what I wanted I've always been in the market for more for an s14 uh, potentially uh, with sr20 uh, RB swap something like that uh, s13s have never really been my thing I really appreciate them but I didn't need one you know what I'm saying so I saw this thing pop up for an unbelievable deal and I was like, well, that price is weird, right? Maybe that's like his like down payment price or something. I don't know. So I uh, look into it. I look at the pictures. This thing is clean. One of the cleanest I've ever seen. And so I look more into it. I call the guy and he's like, no, I'm just looking for this amount of money, which was a steal. I was like, what's wrong with it? Something has to be wrong with it. So I talk more and more to the guy and he comes to tell me that he is a JDM dealer. Basically, I come to find out he got this car from an auction. And when I asked him more about the auction, he said the previous owner put it up because they got too old to be able to drive anymore. And before then, it sat in their garage for about eight years. Now, this car is no spring chicken. It has uh, a good amount of miles on the clock, but the uh, engine is healthy. It runs beautifully, and I've honestly never seen one with an interior this good. To put it into perspective, I was thinking about doing a new set of wheels for the Subaru, the BRZ, and uh, when I stumbled across this, it was actually less money than I was planning on spending on the new wheels for the Subaru. So, you know, pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about the car and explain why I think it was a pretty good deal. So this thing is absolutely mint. I have never seen a 240, especially an S13, with literally almost a perfect body, in the States at least, no dings, no dents, 100% stock. Oh yeah, this is actually a huge selling point for me. So I originally, when I was in, I was trying to spend like seven or eight grand on, you know, like maybe a pre-swapped S14 with an SR20, something like that. This one has never been modified. Everything on this thing is completely stock. Suspension, interior. Oh my God. So this is one of the best parts, honestly. The interior is almost cleaner than my BRZ's interior. It's so nice and fresh. Never been smoked in. All right, I have to warn you though. This is one of the reasons why potentially the car was cheap. You see that right there? That is an automatic shifter automatic transmission so luckily for us a manual transmission swap is only about 500 bucks and because so many people have done it to this car it's going to be no problem the second part of that is that this car is a non-turbo dual cam ka k-a-d-e-d-e -D -E. no t unfortunately but that's actually kind of a good thing because we can get our sr20 from japan do a big turbo setup and give this thing the life it was really supposed to have. So I wanna talk a little bit about the mods now. So I've already ordered a almost ridiculous amount of parts for this car um, because I, I just, I fell in love with it so fast. I wanna do a period correct to if I was a 24 year old guy in 1993, maybe living in Japan, what would I have done back then? So this build is going to be very inspired by what could have been had I been born back in 
back then. So starting off the mods, I'm going to go through what I've already ordered for this car, and then we'll talk about some stuff that we will be doing in the near future. So I have already ordered the entire manual transmission swap. That should be here in maybe 15, 20 days. We'll kind of have to see. It is a manual swap for the KA. I'm going to have a leak down test uh, performed on this KA to see if it's worth doing maybe an ISR ISR turbo setup and then we can go from there if we just have to jump straight into the SR20 or not so after that we have a brand new set of BC coils fully adjustable camber dampening everything that you need for a 240 on the way big shout out to BC for that I love their shit you know I will buy it till I die it's just one of those companies that you feel like that, you know? I have ordered a Chuki. So I'm actually a big fan of the Chuki bumper. It seems really classic to me. I know a lot of people don't like it, and we will probably end up doing a BN kit in the future. But as of right now, I just, I really like it. So I've ordered a front lip. I'm not sure the company, it's a Canadian company uh, versus just, you know, straight China stuff. It's a pretty standard front lip, connects at the bottom. And uh, while we're here in the front, I also ordered some clear uh, clear corner signal lights or housings that we are going to wrap yellow for, well, yellow tint, you know, for just the, the aesthetic, basically. There's no other reason. Uh, orange looks kind of bad. Might do something with this here, this orange here as well. We'll have to see. I have also ordered the best... One of the best mods you can do on this car aesthetically is the Type X 180SX taillights. The things are so beautiful. The stock ones are not that nice looking at all. So the rear end will be looking very nice here soon. To build onto the rear end talk, first of all, can I say how nice the uh, hatch cover and seats are? They're literally in perfect condition. And we have a I think it's called, I think it's called Mission, Mission Visionary, something like that. So we have a X style crossbar with a top and bottom for the rear end. We are going to get the rear end. It's currently, it's kind of dark right now. You can't really see, but it's currently like fishbowl. We are going to get ceramic clear tint here to show off the back. So you can see that crazy crossbar coming in through here. Also for the meme, not even for the meme, just because I love the dudes, we have a, a moist, I guess it's not a mod, but we have a Moist Boys plate frame coming. Uh, big fan of their channel. They're cool cool dudes. Uh, I would like to meet them if they ever come to the States or if I ever go to Canada. But on top of the Moist Boys stuff ordered, they also make these cool, like, tinted uh, mirror, mirror caps, mirror guards that kind of just extend this. Like, I don't know. It looks cool. It looks JDM. Um, it looks like classic, just like Japanese styling, which I know those dudes are about because their builds are sick. Ordered a couple, like, just small little period correct looking stickers from um, Never Content. Uh, Osteezy, big fan of his brand. Really, really like the work he does. I also forgot to mention, um, after we get a really nice detail on the car, I ordered some, not Nardo gray, but just a light dark, light dark. Yeah, nice. A gray wrap that will go along the bottom side to kind of mimic the uh, S13 Coupe Sylvia look that I'm quite a fan of. Uh, we're gonna wrap up until up until about here. I think we'll do the front lip in it as well. I think it'll really tie it together for at least like the first part of this build. Um, I've been throwing around the idea because I've wanted a car like this for so long of maybe doing a midnight two, hello, a midnight purple number two style paint job on this. Uh, I really love the way it looks on R34s. I think this car might not be boxy enough for it, truthfully, but there's only one way to really find out. All right, and to talk about stuff that we need to order for the car. So I am, I'm only six feet tall but the car feels really high uh at least like sitting inside i don't know how like jimmy oaks and them do it well i know how they do it and this is how i'm going to do it as well so i need to get a uh one or two probably two uh matching brid lomax seats and rails um you know brid bride whatever uh in japan technically they say brid um and i guess that's how you're supposed to say it so let me know i've it's a vibe i'm okay with it 
and we will also figure out the exhaust and stuff like that once we get our leak down test back uh, I just want to make sure the motor's good before I really hop into that and uh, if not we can just start straight up on the SR20 which would be cool as well so some something I do want to point out is that the car when I bought it had the black trim all along here uh, which I didn't like and same thing here as well uh, I think the all white will be much cleaner so I've started taking it off it didn't come like this I'm just in the process of you know that was a lot easier to get off than that the stuff's a bitch so this has not all come off yet but it will uh, it's just due time of just grinding on it forever um, I still have the front bumper to do because the front bumper for this stuff is painted on or some just crazy tape whereas on the side it's an actual elastic band that you can heat up and pull off um, and then that started just getting all fucked up so we'll also worry about that later but most of it's off all right guys that's all i have for this video i think uh, i just want to show off the car to you i'm really really excited i can't believe i basically got it for free less than a set of wheels that i was going to buy for the brz um, and you know the engine is okay the transmission is not a hard fix um, and it'll be a really fun process to do so uh, i can't wait to document everything this car is really a dream and yeah thank you for watching uh thanks to everyone who uh left a comment on my previous video uh you know taking some shit off my hands i really appreciate that 99 percent of that stuff has been uh shipped out or you know to the couple like two or three dudes uh and dude's wife who came <laughs> to uh just like meet up with me and charlotte to pick up some stuff really really dope uh nice to meet you guys and yeah i think this is it for now um the next video will probably be the bc coil install um i'll have to see i think there's like seven days shipping on that and then also the roll cage stock like the crossbar in the back i think should be here pretty quick as well um and yeah thanks for sticking around thanks for watching my content i really appreciate it and uh yeah shout out to you guys have a good night peace Thank you.